This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. language for instance is one of them be it going abroad and studying or for that matter even going for business trips if you know the language of the place life just gets so much easier and for that very reason professionals are now queuing up to learn new languages at institutes so what exactly are their preferences let's find out Nupura Patil was clear about the course of her career right after she finished school getting a graduation degree in commerce specializing in accounts and ultimately bagging a job at an international bank that would facilitate her dream of traveling to France to realize this dream Nupura began honing her French skills to perfection today after having successfully passed all the levels in French Nupura feels it's only a matter of time before her dreams come true it is going to help me just in the MBC or say for doing an MBA in marketing because tomorrow when I know accounts when I know language I can deal with the clientele which is based in the European countries because if you know French might is speaking in France itself and also as well as in US there are some colony colonies where you speak French so it is going to help me globally develop my my personality as well as the CV that I'm going to apply for so for the accounts base yes that is going to help me a lot let it be mba in finance let it be in marketing hr whatever field i choose it is going to help me in that nupura is in the only one brushing up her additional language skills to use it to her advantage professionally pharmacist by profession zarna too felt the need to learn a new language she chose mandarin and while initially it was just a means to an end today she teaches mandarin at the cambridge institute and is excited about the many opportunities it has opened up for her Initially it was just a part time thing just to keep myself entertained but I went on to like this like anything and I started learning mandarin it was very interesting something very promising and it's one of the language which people say that if you know this language you can almost uh, travel or work almost throughout uh, southeast asia and you would not have any trouble at all mandarin spanish french arabic german the number of languages that you can opt to learn goes on and on with globalization dictating business rules corporates too are encouraging their employees to pick up on as many foreign languages as possible according to reports the most popular foreign language among indian corporates is french witnessing a demand from 25% of the corporate sector followed by german which is 24% arabic 19% japanese 11% chinese and spanish at 6% and finally italian and korean standing at 5 and 3% respectively from last 3 years the german and chinese has come up there are many students coming and learning a chinese language i seen from tcs mahindra lnt siemens company johnson and johnson company maxil and mg bapa company their managers sales managers and flow manager they are coming and are learning a language and we training to them for international levels your options are not just restricted to the classroom if you're looking to expand the boundaries of your language skills online sites like memrise and duolingo are just a few options open for you if you have the interest to learn a new language but don't have the time at your disposal webv for one has experienced both sides of the coin she feels online language courses have their own pros and cons best thing about an online course is that you really get to train uh, like you know you get trained by the best of the faculty like of course sitting in india i'm getting trained by a very good french uh, person is like one very good thing and the disadvantage is like something that you know we indians are very used to that teacher student relationship which uh, lacks at times when you are not uh, when you're doing an online course so uh, that's about it like you know you don't feel the uh, personal touch and uh, you know you don't uh, like sometimes because of a teacher you learn a language like that plays a very important role a teacher can actually motivate you while these online platforms and apps are seeing growing interest in india experts however believe that these sites will never rule out the traditional classroom teaching methods in spite of apps coming we are getting this course of all these coaching classes and other things going on in spite of the fact that there is such a lot of workshops and setups and apps and all that's again the same story 
whether there is an app, it is a supplementary to the classroom teaching. The classroom teaching can never be overlooked. So now that we have gotten to the bottom of how Indians have figured out that learning an additional language definitely gives them an edge professionally, some of them are taking this passion a level forward. They're making a living out of it. So in that case, just what are the avenues that open up for you? Here's a look. While there are students who are learning foreign languages for their love of the language, there are others who want to make a serious career out of it. And it seems like a largely untapped career opportunity in India. I visited Mayfla Language Services, a translation company in Bangalore, to find out what are some popular career options for students interested in foreign languages. Here's a look. Thanks to the increased interest from foreign players in the Indian market and the opening up of economic opportunities in India, the foreign languages industry in the country is taking off like never before. Raki Sundar and Madhuri Hegde are two entrepreneurs who have made sure that they make the most of this. We started really small and uh, I think I remember one of the first projects which we got was, uh, was from a company which just required us to go and play games for them in, the, you know, in different foreign languages. So we realized that yes, there was a market and we were starting and yes, we did make our own mistakes and we learned from it. But uh, then slowly, when, when uh, over the years, the, the, you know, the requirements increased actually. There were different kind of requirements which started coming to us. Now actually, now if you see that there are requirements not only in translation or, or in the software industry I talked about, there's a lot of requirement in the e-learning industry, you know. The rise in foreign language services companies in India has also opened up a world of career opportunities for foreign language experts. Contrary to popular belief, being a foreign language interpreter isn't the only exciting option for a language expert. Sarita Desai, for example, is a localizer. Localization goes beyond translation. Uh, so in a translation, you're basically just translating a content, like a book. Basically, it's just a translation. But for instance, when you want uh, a game, right? Uh, for that, you need to localize a game. Uh, suppose uh, it's a game which is about ice hockey and is very popular in Canada. So that person wants to localize, wants to launch that in India. Obviously, a game like ice hockey will not be popular in India, right? Mm -hmm. So he will probably have to change that to cricket. So that's called localization. You're adapting it to a different culture. Sarita, who currently heads the localization department at Mayflower Language Services, is an expert in Portuguese and French, but also has a degree in econometrics. Her journey into a career in languages was not the most straightforward route. I was approached by an IT company that uh, they were developing this ERP product and they were planning to launch it in Europe and they wanted to localize it into European languages. So I was helping them with the localization into Portuguese. So later on I also did testing proje projects uh, for uh, different companies. So in testing uh, what you do is you have an application, uh, a software application that has already been localized into a certain language and you need to test it. Uh, so uh, what, what exactly do you test for? So there are three things that you need to test. One is the linguistic testing, where you check for the grammar, for the spelling, for uh, punctuation, syntax, accuracy of the language. Uh, then you do a cosmetic testing. So I think the fact that I worked as a localizer, a tester, and my background economics has given me the edge. Her colleague Madhu had a similar journey to making a career in foreign languages. Languages came easy to Madhu because of her diverse background. She was born in Chennai, raised in Madhya Pradesh and studied in Pune and Calcutta. While she knows about five Indian languages owing to a brief stint in Germany, she is also an expert in the German language and has an economics background. Where I did a complete course, three-year course in German followed by a course in business German, where I included my economics background. Uh, was there, started as a freelance translator, moved back to India in 2006. And I was basically looking for a job where I could train people in business etiquette if they had to travel to a European country. Uh, came across Mefra Language Services during one of my internet searches and came to meet them, which is where I realized there's so much to do in languages, uh, especially with somebody with my kind of background who has business knowledge as well as a language. Sarita's role in quality assurance and technology is another untapped career opportunity when it comes to foreign languages. A quality assurance team usually consists of both foreign and English language experts. 
here's what we do. We translate documents, uh, which is something you will learn through the program. Uh, once the document is translated and comes back, we don't deliver it to the client without checking it. So basically, it's a check where we check the linguistic part, the grammar part. We do a lot of punctuation checks. And we also make sure that it adheres to the guidelines given to us by the client with respect to the content, uh, the style. And only then it is delivered to the client. And finally, the most popular of language services careers is that of a voiceover official. Just as an example, if there is a SME or a subject matter expert who has developed the entire thing in English and he is unable to produce it in Germany or he is unable to produce it in Spain because of the language barrier which comes in. So here, we as a Mayflower, we help them to localize the entire content. We have the resources, we have the people who can take care of the translation and who can take care of the voiceover part. So the SME completely creates the scripts for us and the entire thing is purely, it is given in the same way how, how the SME needs to present it to the German team or the Spain team. It doesn't have to stop at foreign languages of other countries though. Experts in Indian regional languages are also in demand thanks to the growth of startups and the tech sector. Indian language services market in general, right, it's about a billion dollars. It's, it's a big market, really. A lot of e-commerce co uh, companies want to sell, or even mobile companies, for example. They want to sell to rural India. So if you want to sell to rural India, if you want to sell to different geographies within India, English is not really the main language. You need to have a different local language. There is a lot you can do right now. Uh, the IT industry is booming. There's a lot of people right now who are going global. The e-commerce industry is booming. Everybody is looking at globalization that is going out of India or in coming into India. A lot of FDI happening in different sectors and different industries. And anybody who wants to sell a product outside their geography needs a language, right? Needs communication in a different language. If you know a foreign language, your uh, salary bracket is a little higher than what it would be otherwise. While jobs are a plenty when it comes to foreign languages in India, Experts say that students must keep in mind the high costs involved in learning the language. Apart from this, when it comes to picking the language that you'd like to learn, keep in mind how the country is doing in the world economy. Up next, we talk about pay scales and what it's like to learn a foreign language.